Hi, today I want to give you some exercises you can do anytime and anywhere at work. The thing about working is that we're often sitting for long periods of time. Now, sitting isn't the worst thing in the world. We're designed to do it, and it gets a lot of bad press and a bad rap when I don't think it's really the problem. They say that sitting is the new smoking, only it'll, only it'll kill you quicker. I don't believe that's true as long as you're getting balanced stimulus, meaning stimulus that opposes the muscles of sitting. So when we're sitting, we have muscles that are short and tight on the front of our hips, on our chest. The muscles of the upper back are rounded and lengthened, and the hamstrings are shortened and so on. So you have these muscles that are in a shortened position for a long day, for a long over a long day and over long periods. And we need to make sure that we give the opposite stimulus to the body to make sure it balances out. So the muscles on the back side of the body need to be shortened in terms of the spinal muscles. We call that spinal extension, which is mean the extent muscles that bring the, the back, the shoulder blades back that extend the spine and bend it backwards, which is what we don't get when we're sitting. But we also need to make sure we focus on the shoulder joint, the hip joint, the knee joint, and the ankle joint. So all the joints need their proper motion, their proper function, and their proper stimulus to maintain balance. And that's what these exercises that I'm gonna show you will do. So I'm gonna give you some exercises sitting and some standing, so here we go. Okay, so here you are in your work chair and you're at your desk presumably, and I wanna give you a few things that you can do at your desk anytime throughout the day, again, to maintain function in all your joints, to maintain muscle tension, balanced muscle tension, and to give your body proper stimulus that it's not getting throughout the day if you've been sitting at your desk. So, first, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna scoot towards the middle of your chair. So instead of leaning back, scoot your hips towards the middle of the chair, get your feet straight, and about fist width apart. Then you're gonna sit up as tall as you can. You're gonna do that by taking the front of your hip bones and rolling them forward toward your knees. So you're putting a little arch in your lower back, but you're inducing the motion with the muscles in your hips, not your spine. Now as you hold that, you're gonna take your right hand, put it on your right shoulder, left hand underneath, and you're gonna pull it straight up overhead. So it looks like this. Elbow up, pull it up, keep the hips rolled forward, keep the feet straight, fist width apart and you're gonna hold that right up and you're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds to a minute. You really wanna keep that lower back arched using the muscles in the front of your hip. Sit up as tall as you can as you do it, pull the elbow back and then after 30 seconds, you're gonna switch sides. Left hand, left shoulder, right hand underneath, straight up overhead. We always wanna do both sides. This exercise is restoring shoulder motion. How often do you get this shoulder in this position during the day, especially at work? Pretty much never. And that's why this is so important. So we're engaging all the extensors of the spine, we're engaging all the important muscles of the shoulder to stabilize, to move through a range of motion, and we're engaging these powerful hip stabilizers as well. So you're just holding that up again, 30 seconds. Okay, next exercise. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left knee. And you're gonna sit up as tall as you can and with your leg muscles, not your hand, push your knee down towards the ground. You're pushing it that way, sitting up, hanging out. You're gonna feel a pretty good stretch in the outside of your hip. Same thing with the back. You're gonna sit up as tall as you can. Rotate those hips forward to create that arch in the lower back. And you'll feel that increased pull and stretch in your outer hip. These muscles don't get engaged or stretched during the workday either, which is a big reason why we're doing them. So again, same thing, 30 seconds to a minute. And when you're done with that, you're gonna switch sides. Left ankle over the right knee. Now you might find that the hips are different. That's an imbalance. And when you are sitting at work, you really wanna be uh, cognizant and pay attention of how you're sitting because if you have one ankle or one leg crossed over the other all day long, that's a bad thing. That's breeding an imbalance. That is creating a pattern, a neurological pattern of imbalance in your body. And you don't want that because what, what happens is you'll stand up and your hip will still be rotated and that's how you'll walk throughout your day as well. So you don't want to re do repeated habits that create repeated imbalances in your body. And this exercise helps counterbalance that because I know there are so many of you who do sit like this with one leg over the other and it's the same leg all the time, most likely for most people. So you generally want to sit where you are just even and balanced. So keep pushing that left knee out away from you, sit up tall, 30 seconds to a minute and then relax, roll the hips forward again, interlace your hands together, lock out your arms, straight up overhead. 
So again, you're gonna roll the hips forward, pull the arms back, and look up at your hands. We need these neck muscles engaged. We want these hip muscles and all the spinal muscles engaged as well. Elbows locked, pull the arms back, hips rolled forward, you're gonna hold this. And you might feel like you're gonna start to sweat. That is normal. Again, that means your body's producing heat. We're kicking in your metabolism. We're using energy and we're actually creating energy at the same time because when you stand up from this, you're gonna feel more energized. And then relax. We call this sitting cat and cow or sitting cat and dog. Let your hips roll forward and slump or roll back and slump, then roll forward. Create the arch, squeeze shoulder blades back and look up. And just down, everything flexion, everything extension. So we're just from one to the next. Letting your back sag and round, roll the hips forward, create the arch in your back, shoulder blades back. So again, we're just taking the spine through a gentle range of motion. Now there are so many exercises we could do, but if you just did these four exercises that I'm showing you while you're at work, even just a couple of them, takes you right two minutes to do. So easy and so good for your body. Okay, those are the sitting exercises I wanted to show you today. There's a lot more, as I said, for another time, but here's a standing exercise. There are a couple of them. First, you can hold on to your chair or not. Take your left hand and grab your left foot. Take your hips, tuck under, and you're gonna feel a stretch on the front of your thigh. Now, these are the muscles that don't get stretched during the day when we're sitting. So take your hips, tuck under. Now there's another way to do this. If you can't grab your foot like I can, then you just simply put your foot on the chair or on the desk, if you're allowed to, behind you, just like this. Take your hips, tuck under, and you're gonna feel that stretch on the front. Okay, but you wanna tuck your hips under to increase that pull, keep the knees level. You don't want one knee way out in front of the other. Okay, so you wanna do both sides. So we're gonna do the other side now. You're gonna take the right hand, Grab the right foot, take the, the heel, draw it towards my hips, take your hips, tuck under, and hold this. Again, you don't need the chair. If you don't need to hold onto the chair, don't hold onto it, but it's there for you if you need it. And same thing, always about 30 seconds to a minute. You wanna hold it longer, go for it. Again, this is lengthening out the front side of the hip, the thigh muscle, the hip flexor. It's realigning your joints. It's getting your shoulder blade to retract on one side and then relax. Last one I'm gonna show you. You're gonna put your hands on the chair. You can do it on the desk too, but you're gonna get your legs wide. You're gonna separate them wide, keep your feet straight, and then you're going to straighten out your arms, put a little arch in your back, arms straight, make your, a fist with your thumbs up towards the ceiling. So you've rotated your thumbs up this way and out. And you're gonna drop your head, put an arch in your back and draw your chest towards the ground as you rotate your arms and thumbs out. Thighs tight and you're gonna hang out right here. You're gonna feel the entire backside of your body engage. Give me a little hamstring stretch, a little stretch in your shoulder. This is a great exercise to do anytime you can. Might look a little funny in the office, but I promise you, if you can do it, get everybody to do it with you, it will be a great pick-me-up. And when you come up, after 30 seconds or a minute, you'll stand up and you will feel taller, you will feel better, you'll feel energized, and your body will have gotten a proper stimulus that counterbalances the stimulus of sitting all day. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, hope to see you again soon.